YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some more plays, part two, out of my gun, Empty Saint. Uh, like I said in the first video, if you guys wanted to see more of this, hit the like button, and you guys did that. So uh, I'm going to put out part two. The Saints is by far the best playbook in the game this year. If you guys don't know, I did a full breakdown video of it, um, as well as a full ebook. If you guys are in the ebooks on my personal website, madmoneyshot.com. So if you're interested in that, check that out. I have, it, it's, the per, it's the playbook that I use. You see it in all my gameplay videos. Um, I want to mix it up and try out some other uh, some other books like I love the Ravens book and I haven't used that in a long time but the but the Saints book is just so money I typically switch throughout the course of the long man season I typically go through go through multiple playbooks that I fall in love with and use constantly and right now it's the Saints last year was I start off with the Chiefs I went to Dallas and then I went to the Ravens uh, this year Dallas is not that great and Chiefs just feels like I've done that forever so I'm not gonna do that again uh, but for now it's the Saints so I'm looking for playbook number two uh, to switch over to I might go back to the Ravens I'm not really sure uh, I did a full break breakdown of that one as well i mean they're both great books uh but they're obviously different styles this is more of a spread pass heavy book uh but other than, let's get into the first play out of the empty saint this is a play it's been one of my favorite plays for a couple of years now it's the saint deep in um this is in the it's in the chiefs playbook that's why when i say it's been one of my favorite playbook plays for a couple of years it's because it was in that playbook as well and that's where i originally found it so we'll go ahead and we'll pick that on the offensive side, uh, we'll just pick, we'll match, we'll go random nickel. If you guys want to see more Saints plays too, make sure you hit the like button. I'll keep bringing them out because I always have them. It's the book that I use, so it's like the easiest for me to find stuff. So go ahead and we'll go random nickel. So this year, I mean, this is not a bad play just like this. I can't say that I ever really use it just like this, but it's it's not a horrible play. I'll go ahead and run it one time. The square route is probably one of the better plays from the original setup, but I don't typically go through my progression long enough for that. The way that I typically run this is I like to run this in a quick release type of play. I like to motion this guy over. And now he's a really kind of glitchy outside route. So whether it's a cover uh, three, uh, a man cover, I don't even know what this is. This is going to get pooped on by this unless that dude's in a hard flat. But you can see when he makes that break, and I typically want a faster receiver doing that, but when he makes that break, it's just game over. I typically want speed there though. Like maybe Ginn would have been a better option. Um, but uh, I'm going to leave Thomas. He's like, what's he, like an 85 speed? Maybe I'll switch that up here in a minute. I'm not really sure. But you definitely want speed for that. Uh, but my adjustments that I make other than that are really up to you. I mean, these check and release routes are okay. I can't say that, um, you know, I use it like this a lot. But they're not too bad. Uh, but uh, I like, you know, like Fleener, Fleener and Kimura are really re-based uh, what you what you want to do like Fleener here I could put him on a streak or a fade because it looks like a cover three you got that single high safety when I motioned over Thomas nobody followed so I'm pretty sure that this is not a single high safety man this looks like a cover three so uh, Fleener whenever I see cover three I typically want to put him on a streak that's typically what I do and then Kamara I pretty much always put him in a slant opposite of the running back uh, because the user when they see that motion they'll react to it most times it'll cheat outside a little bit so that'll leave Kamara open on the other side you can put him in a slant or you can put him on a drag I typically have one of these guys in a slant one of these guys in a drag um, that's pretty a pretty good combination or you can just slant them both you know what I mean it's, that, that's really you know it's up to you but uh, I would say you know based off of reads if it's like a cover two or cover four, I'm slanting both those guys or slanting one dragon. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but I would also make sure if it's a cover three, though, that I have uh, Fleener most likely in a streak. And you can even put Kamora in a streak. I mean, they're both they're both right at the cover three seam. But I want to check down, so I would typically do it something like this. Uh, although the R1 route is pretty good against cover three, too. There you see the back shoulder throw beats it. Uh, but the R1, like, I mean, the R1 route is going to beat cover three. It's uh, it's not, you know, exclusive. So this looks like a single high safety man. So I'm going to go ahead and put Fleener in the drag now. Uh, so I have all my man beaters. And the R1 route should be pretty good on the man. But then again, so is everything else. So it's really, you know, you just make the read there. So we'll run this a couple different ways. Quite, I don't want to say quite a few adjustments, but a decent amount of adjustments. So we'll go ahead and we'll... Like I said, this right here, you can tell right away, he's just going to be a wide open when he makes that cut. You typically want to throw it in that uh, in that break. Let's get that touch. Let's get that touch, baby. Let's go. A lot of times, hard breaking routes are most effective if you throw it when they make their break. And this looks like a man coverage. This is a little bit riskier. So if, since it's a man coverage, I'm not necessarily going to do that. Um, as we got, uh, I'll go with the double slant here. Throw it over the top to Flanner. We get a nice big play. This R1 route 
gets open against man. I haven't thrown it that way because I have a slow wide receiver. If it was a faster wide receiver, it would get open against man. It would work, but he's not really meant to do that. So when he's able to throw, he makes that cut a little bit close to the sideline. It's all good though. I think I'll, in a second here, I'll replace Thomas with the, I don't know if, how, what the fastest, it has to be fast and agile. Uh, obviously with a decent route run, route running, if you guys don't know, is what beats man coverage. Um, that's that's what the rating is for man coverage. So that there, I don't know what that was, but he's open there. But you see, he's just slow out of the brakes. I'm gonna try to switch him out real quick. Yeah, I'll switch, he'll we'll be in the next play. So I'm not. I mean, he's not. You know, by any means, Thomas is not slow. He's an 89 speed, but you really want a speedster there doing that. So we're gonna run it again. Looks like a cover three. Doing that back shoulder throw like a flinger, just right there. And I'm safe catching every time, by the way. I don't want him taking the chances. So here we go. Now we got Gin. Again, in his natural position in the slot, uh, which is, you know, this formation just puts the number one wide receiver there. It's not really something that, um, you know, it's typically an advantage having your number one wide receiver. And you see that he's just a much smoother athlete. You know, there's no hesitation, no stop and go. Now, the next play I got here is a wide receiver corners. This is basically a corner strike, um, but, you know, you got a couple different options. So we'll go ahead and pick that. Yeah, this play here, I mean, it's essentially a corner strike concept. Um, and you can make it a flat out corner strike if you want to put these guys on their uh, on their flats uh, But being a check and release it actually makes those underneath routes a little bit more effective So it's up to you if you want to pull coverage down quicker then put them into the flats uh, But if you want to uh, if you want to kind of sneak them out the backside uh, It's a really good look to not put them into the flats and then see here uh, They actually still reacted to it, but it's whatever so I got the bigger play. Let's go uh, but there's not a lot of adjustments other than that. I mean, this is just basically your high low read uh, where you have uh, You see their flinger definitely snuck out the back as he, he, he really he really hand up that blocking <laughs> on that play uh, But this player right here is just reading high and low real simple. There we go. Look at that check. Look at look how the guys sucked in uh, Not the blocker the defender. They just bust out for a big play So it's really up to you, but if you don't want to mess around with all that BS and you want that immediate route then just put them in their corner Corner strikes. Um, you can still motion out Kamora like I showed in the first video, and he'll get to that corner. He'll get that edge a little bit quicker. Uh, but you can see there they actually react to him. That's a really good cover four beater too, as you can tell. For people that have issues with cover four, this is a really good way to go. Um, and you also have Gin. Gin's a good route. This looks like a cover three, so I think he's going to be open right at the seam of it. You see right there, he's a good he's a good safe throw, and he gets open in multiple times on this route. So I'll run this a couple different ways. I'll, I'll put out, um, you know, I'll do this. Look at that, right up the center there. I mean, it's, these guys are just reacting to everybody. And a lot of times you see that right up the middle. Yeah, I don't think the user is really going to stick with Gin too much. It's just the way that that route looks. As you're going to go up top there, you just drop that over the shoulder. Look at that, he's busting through. Thomas going all savage on him. It's actually a pretty tight throw. You can also put uh, Kimura. If it's a cover three, you can put Kimura up the scene there. Uh, that's something that I mentioned in previous videos um, here. That's circle route. I mean, I don't know what the coverage is there, but there was nobody on that. If I had waited even longer, it would have been even more open. But like I said, these are pretty much corner route concepts. Um, just a little bit different. So here, that was a man. I think that was a man coverage. Man, he's just, these are getting some weird animations. I find that when you leave these guys in the block, they really have some weird animations sometimes. Like, look at Flinger. Like, what is he doing? He's like running in circles before he goes out. I'm not a fan of that. So we'll just do the nice predictable flat routes. Because <laughs> I just, I know when I do that flat route, I know where they're going to be. That's the bottom line. You can see Flint, you can see Gen there. He gets open multiple times, like I said. And the last play I'm going to do is the slot deep post. Uh, this one right here, uh, something, something a little bit more on the new side. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Yeah, this play right here, there's a couple different ways uh, that I like to run this. I like to put uh, Kamara here on a drag, so I have a high-low with him and Sneed. Uh, Fleener, I kind of want him to stay in a block. I mean, if I want to, I can put him on a drag back the other way. I don't find it's really necessary, though. I think that I'm going to need the blocking. Um, so that'd be the way that I'd go. And then I like putting Thomas either on a slant or on an in route uh, to come across what Gin's doing. Gin's really going to pull coverage. Um, and then that's basically going to be the look. I mean, my, my reads, I'm basically cutting the field in half both times. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll run this just like this. Uh, the triangle route there, I waited way too long. <laughs> got a couple of yards. I should have threw it sooner. So we'll go ahead and we'll do this like this once or twice. The slant, I feel the slant in the R1 route kind of work off of one or the other pretty good. As you can see, it gets open right up the middle there. 
Yeah, I got, you can leave uh, Thomas doing what he's doing too. That's really up to you. Um, if it's a cover three, putting Thomas out on a smart route is a pretty good look. Uh, he won't get in the way of what other people are doing. Um, you can see here how basically he helps to pull covers to create a window for this guy. But yeah, this play really is all about Sneed Kamara anyway, so you could always just leave Thomas streaking. Uh, but you can see how he just pulls coverage there, and then it just creates a nice throwing window for Sneed. So we'll go ahead and run this once or twice more. Man, they're sending house blitzes now. They're sending house money blitzes right now. <laughs> Send them all. Send them in. And I keep doing, I keep fumbling the buttons of putting Fleener on a, on a flat. So here, see how they react down? That just gives again a look right up the middle there. And that was a cover four, which he's getting uh, space. So here we got the blitz. Anytime they're going to blitz, I mean, this drag obviously is going to be the way. He almost blocked me all the way in the end zone. That would have been nice. All right, so that's it. That's the vid. Two parts. Uh, whether you saw this on my Patreon, you saw it all in one shot, or uh, you saw it on YouTube in the second part. Uh, other than that, if you guys want to see more Saints, hit the like button. I always have more Saints because I'm always using them. Uh, I have, I already have the other one I, I would want to do in my mind, <laughs> which you've probably seen. If you watch my gameplay videos, you've probably seen that play a million times. It's probably the last one uh, that I use consistently that I haven't put out yet. So if you guys want to see that, do me a favor, hit the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.